all good. My first guest was, of course, one of the stars of Sex and the City, recently co-starred in the movies The Shaggy Dog and Deck the Halls. Please welcome the lovely Kristen Davis. <laughs> Welcome to the show. Thank you. You know I love to come see you. I like to see you. <laughs> you, <laughs> you really, you, you look beautiful. You Thank look fantastic. You. Thank you. Thank you. I just have to. I mean, you're luminous. You, uh, there's a light. There's a. I mean, there's lights so here. Yes, yeah, so obviously. Yes, but, I am well lit. But yeah. uh, no, 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 no. There's a light coming out. Uh, Thank yeah. you. I, I guess I have to imagine that when you're, because I know that you, you're here in the city. Mm -hmm. when you're walking down the street in New York City. Guys must approach you. And hit on you. They must. Almost never, sad, sad to say. But really? you know what's funny? I, you know, I travel a lot. I go to a lot of different countries, a lot of different cities. And I will say that in New York, I have gotten the most kind of direct come on. Like you know? the most daring. Yes. Like, like, you know, all or nothing type things. Like one time I was walking down Fifth Avenue. I think I'd been shopping or something. And I was mm -hmm. at, stopped at a light to cross the street. And I see this man walking, you know, kind of in my direction, very dapper, businessman, bald, you know, super confident, mm -hmm. like perfectly tailored. Sort of that sort of Wall Street kind yeah. of intense. I'm... Very intense. Yeah, yeah. Very intense. Like, you know, merger, acquisitions, whatever. So he's, you know, he's walking right at me, and I'm, I'm thinking, like, should I move to the side? What should I do? Mm -hmm. and, and, he, and he walks, 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 and then he kind of takes his hand and, like, puts this card in my hand. And I was like, oh. And he said, you're having dinner with me tonight. And I was like, not will you have dinner with me? You are having dinner with oh, me yes. tonight. And this was his card with his phone number in my hand already. Right, like, right. You, like unbeknownst to me, I mean, I, I was. I thought it might have been like a sandwich. <laughs> no, no, thank God. And thank that's God. what we're eating. That sandwich right there. <laughs> I brought dinner with me. Yeah. No, and I was like, ah, ah, uh, uh, busy, busy, busy tonight, busy. You just be. I mean, you know. See, that makes me feel do? good that it didn't work. Because I, I did not have that kind of confidence when I, you didn't. I no, I, of course not. Anyone watching this show for five <laughs> minutes, knows, I was not the kind of guy that walked up to him and said, "Tonight we will well. have sex," you know. That, <laughs> which would have been a mistake. That was funny. Uh, yeah. um, you know, I have to say I understand though, because I mean, obviously it didn't work. Because I mean, you can't really just go out with strangers. It's not not a great idea. Right. But um, I, I've only asked a man out once. Oh, you've asked in a guy my life. out. Yes, yeah. I did try it once, and I have to say it was so hard that it really made me feel for you guys. I was on a set a in Canada, mm -hmm. and I kind of, I developed a crush on this guy who was a grip, and a grip is like the guys who do the lighting and the really hardcore work. And sure. They're usually working when we're in our trailers, and then when we're working, they're hanging out. Mm -hmm. So it's kind of hard to interact, and there's kind of, you know, rules on sets, like you're not, I don't know, you're not really supposed to date the, I don't know, you know what I it's mean. It's kept La Bamba and I apart all these years, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um. <laughs> Trust me, I. You first said, you know, <laughs> behave in a professional manner, yes. obviously. But, but you like this guy. You were noticing him. I like him. this guy. So I had to work really hard to try to chat with him. You know, it took a fair amount of, like, how do I talk about the lights or whatever, you know? So Because <laughs> that's the I, only I, thing he can talk well, about. I just didn't know how to, you know? Lights make dark things seem brighter. <laughs> <laughs> well, you're trying to find yes, I don't yes. know. Yes, I know what you're you saying. Know? I know what you're saying. So you, I tried. Yeah. You know, I tried, and my co-star, my male co-star knew what was going on. He would just laugh at me, laugh at me, and he was like, you should ask him to coffee. Ask him to coffee. Sure. So it took like two weeks for me to work up just the nerve to do it. It's so right. hard. It's so scary. It's very scary, yeah. Gosh. Yeah. So like two weeks, and he was just egging me on and egging me on. And like finally one day at rap, I see him over there, and he's taking down the lights, and I'm like, you know, and I was really, I was like having trouble breathing, and so I went over and I said, oh, you know, uh, uh, I was just wondering um, if you would like to, ha to have coffee this weekend. Mm -hmm. And he goes, <gasps> like, like, literally, like, the color, like, kind of drained out of his face. Like, he looked just shocked. Right. Just so shocked. And then he stared at the ground, at which point I started going, oh, you know, that's okay, never mind. I started, like, saying just crazy sure. things. Yeah. And then he looked back up and he said, I, I can't. And I was like, no problem, that's fine. What's this no, guy's no. problem? <laughs> What's wrong? Did you ever find out what his problem no, is? No, I could never bring it up. I could never look at him again. I could never talk to anyone about it. I, I don't know. He was very sweet about it, but No, no, I don't he know. wasn't. He wasn't sweet about it at all. You walked uh, up to him and said, You're beautiful. Kristen Davis, you said, uh, can I can I possibly have coffee with you sometime? And he looked at you and he went, I can't. Well, no, he <laughs> 
he stared at I the got... ground. He stared at the ground first, like hoping that like an answer oh, yeah? would come from the yeah, ground. Yeah, that, that makes it better that he yeah. that he wouldn't I even look know. at you it when he said crazy. it. It was he crazy. He looked on. I can't. Crazy. I assumed this is the answer that I came up with just to make myself feel better, which is you know I'm sure what men must have to do all the time. I decided he must have a girlfriend, and that he was a good guy. That doesn't make a difference. I mean, come on. <laughs> he... Well, that see, it was an. It, it, it made sense to me, Just like, oh, coffee, look, he's a know. good guy. Yeah. I wanted to end up that he was a good guy and that it, you know, wasn't my my lacking or whatever. I think he's somewhere right now. I think he panicked. I think he panicked you in do? the moment. Don't you ladies think uh... he panicked? He panicked in the moment. That's Thank what happened. You. That's sweet. Well, I don't think he saw it coming, that's for sure. You know, right. he, he really, like, the color drained out of his face. And that's how I felt about, you know, really made me think about guys, like, you kind of have to create this this thing out of, like, you don't even know how they feel about you or whatever. It's hard. Right, right. You have to uh, sort of affect the confidence that you don't have. Yes. I used to go like this when I was talking to ladies. How did that go? Uh, I, uh, I, was, I, was, I was, you know, like a virgin at 38, you know. Just, you know. I don't even think I could do it. I yeah, I was always I, like that with the ladies to show that I was like, everything's okay. cool. I'd be like, hey, you want to get coffee? I'm going to work on it. And then I could never hear what they said. <laughs> it's so much noise. Well, now, let me ask you, I, I okay. want to pay you a compliment. You are in fantastic shape. And oh. I, I don't mean to embarrass you, but you really are. And I know that you. You, you've played uh, you've played a lot of, uh, you know... You, girly. Girly roles. Yeah. And I've always thought, I've thought this before when you've been on the show, you could play like an action role. I know you, you, you're you very intense yeah. about working out and taking oh, care yeah. of yourself. Have you ever thought of playing like oh, a... Oh, I want to. I'm dying to just, you know, ha! And like, really, like, I could kick someone or... I don't, I don't know. know if I'd do that. No? You know? Yeah, no, no. Uh, exactly. <laughs> I'm dying to, but, you know, they just don't make that many movies and, you know, with women, you know, Action butt. heroes, yeah. yeah. Yeah, but, hey, I think you'd be good, too. As an action hero? Yeah. Why would I be good as well, an action hero? Because your hair alone is kind of like, you know, <laughs> like, kind of like a, they know what I'm talking about. Kind of like an action hero cartoon figure. <laughs> it's a compliment. It's a compliment. Well, we're out of time. Uh... <laughs> Yeah, you know, whatever. A Nickelodeon, I could play a guy that no. shoots green ooze out of. Uh... Well, you're really tall. You could do some serious kicking. You could do like a like. I'm tall a is not like core. a thing that you know. No, that's like I'm a tall, long but I'm weapon. very, you know, gangly there and are skinny. There people that teach you. Teach I you went what? To like, Just... a, like a Thai bow class where like you kick and you ha. No, my problem is my body <laughs> is not proportional. I'm all leg. I really am. I'm. So you could train those legs to be weapons. <laughs> Whenever I lift one a little bit, I tip over. <laughs> That's, That's the bad. problem. That is bad. I'm not that really balanced, bad. as you That's understand. Not good. That's it's not, not a good thing. Good. Now, yeah. uh, you you always played. We were talking about how you play girly parts, but you also play very nice. You always play I know, nice. I Have know. you ever? There must be some part of you that wants to play a really there evil is. person. There is a part of me that would like to just totally turn all of those nice ideas about me upside down. The problem is they send me these parts, and they're just they're just so crazy. I can't take them. Like one time there was a part, and and it was like this gun-toting drug dealer who wore, like, sweats and had a buzz cut. Yeah, that, no one, I don't think people would want no, you to play that character. I think people would laugh me off that screen. Right. Right? You'd be like, you're gonna die, yeah, homie, like, you know? Well, like, yeah. It would be like a skit. Yeah. It would be like a skit, you yeah, know? Yeah, you don't want to do that. No, and so they don't send me, like, it doesn't seem to be any middle ground. It's either that or, like, someone sent me something recently where I was the mother of a teenage girl who wasn't popular, so my idea was to throw parties with lots of liquor for all of her friends and then to have an affair with one of her young high school boyfriends to make her popular. And I was like, I don't think I can do that either. <laughs> That's such a know. weird movie idea. I know, I know, I know. What hey, was the name of the movie? Weird, I don't want to say. Drink, I feel bitch, guilty. drink. <laughs> <That's the name. laughs> I feel guilty. Everybody. You're not drinking enough, dear. Have more. <laughs> Now, you are here uh, to promote something. Yes, that's, right. This is a good cause. Let's it talk is. about it's this. This is a very good it's cause. Great. This is the Celebrity Pasta Lover's Cookbook. Right. And, uh, and, and it's for a good cause. The money is. is going to... The money is going to America's Second Harvest, which makes sure that the 37 million people in America who don't have enough food, which mm -hmm. is shocking, mm -hmm. get food. Right. And so Mario Botelli, a wonderful genius chef, right. worked with a lot of actors and helped our recipes get better. Um, and we have this cookbook, and you can download it at celebritypastalovers.com for free. And the great thing is that Barilla, the 
pasta maker donates a dollar for every download. So you spend nothing, you get this great cookbook, and they download money. And that it's goes for a good cause. America's Second Harvest. And it's stuff sure. that's probably not that hard to make. I, I'm not, I can't cook at all. You can't? No, no, no. I've, I've said I'm this shocked. many times. I mess up like ramen pride noodles. I, wow. There's always an explosion well, and foam talent. when I make it. That's yeah. a special talent. Yeah, there's all kinds of things. Oh, yeah, there's my recipe, which is actually my mom's. Are. Oh, this it's is nice. It's spaghetti and meatballs. Look at that. And it's a very, it's very hot picture of you right there. Thank you. Right above Thank the spaghetti you. and meatballs. Look at that. <laughs> <laughs> you don't often see a picture like that next to spaghetti and meatballs. <laughs> Spaghetti and meatballs. Well, it is pretty. It's yummy food. Oh, look, there's Pierce Brosnan. There's Pierce one. Brosnan with an amazing migraine headache. <laughs> I don't know what's no, happening. no, I think he's... <laughs> no, he's thinking deep thoughts. <sighs> he's thinking deep thoughts. What is he's, he thinking he's about? He's thinking about his orzo. Yeah. Yes, and, and oh, I love this one. This is I good. love this, this one good. right here. Look at this. Uh, look at the caption <laughs> that goes with this. caption does not go with this. It's quick and easy. <laughs> He's not, it's, it's supposed to be, it's quick and easy. And he's right. like, it's quick and easy. <laughs> but it's also spicy. It's and spicy. spicy. Yeah. What's well, all for. And Ashley Judd's in there. And, you know, it's just a great combination. And it's free. Which it's is free. Great. Well, check yeah. out the cookbook at celebritypastalovers.com. It's yes. for a good cause. You'll be Thank helping you. people, which is always a good thing. Kristen Davis, I love it when you come by the show. Thanks I for being here. She's Thank the you. best. Kristen Davis, everybody. Bob Saget coming up. Take a break.